Okay, today we'll be showing you how to use Robocop to transfer files from one directory to another and also how to create a batch file to make your life easier. So first, let's go ahead and open command prompt. Here in command prompt, we'll type in Robocop. Oh, Robocopy. And if you hit enter, you see a simple description of how to use it. You type in Robocop, the source, and the destination, and then an option. Uh, here for demonstration purposes, I will be navigating over to my uh, directory that I'm specifically using. Uh, this is a directory that I recovered many files from, so I actually need to move a bunch of files from subfolders to the main folder. Here's the uh, file folder, just so you can see. This particular directory has over 600 folders. I'll navigate into folder 501, just for information purposes. Now we'll go back into the command line. I'll go up a, uh, so let's wait until I go back into command line. There we go. Go back a level higher type in Robocop, Robocopy, the source, which is that particular uh, directory and particular folder, the 501. And now the destination. And plus the option move, hit enter, and there you go. You see Robocopy is starting. It'll take a few, it says that there's 514 files in that directory, and it will start copying the files from that directory to the source, I mean, from the source to the destination deck directory. Now, while this is doing, that's the manual way of doing it through command prompt for one folder. If I want to do it for all the folders, you, I want to create a batch file. So let me now show you how to create that batch file. I'll bring over the batch file I already have open. All right, so the big part here is you need to have echo off on top, exit slash B in the bottom, and in between those two lines, the code which again is just robocopy the source between parentheses the destination and the option move now you can do it manually by just copying this line and pasting it over and over again and just renaming the source so i can be rename it 501 502 503 and that is one way of doing it now Again, in my case, I have hundreds of folders, so that's still a little bit tedious. So then I went ahead and used Excel to help me out. So let me bring him over my Excel file to show you what's there. So it's almost exactly what you see. The first column A has Robocopy plus the beginning of the source file next has that ending of the source file the last part has the destination plus the option then i use concatenate to add column a b and c together and then of course i just copy and paste uh, down or in this case i'll show you how to do it for the next 100 so from 101 to all the way to 600 i bring it down all the way to 600 there you go. I go into column D, which is my concatenate column, copy the results, go back to my file, and I paste that in between. I save this file as a .bat file. And then 
I run it. Here you can see the original Robocopy uh, finished at 514 files that it moved over. We'll go into the folder so you can see how it's moved all those files. So the folder is empty now. And now we will go ahead and launch that batch file that we created so that the remaining 99 folders can be moved in. This is what the bad file looks like, the one we just edited. And there we go, double click, and now it's running. It will probably be running for the next 30 minutes to an hour. So we'll call it a day, but hopefully that helped make your life a little bit easier. Have a nice day.